playing games natively will always be better than playing them via streaming. The industry seems to want to head towards streaming games as the future of gaming, but I doubt this will ever be the case. But for games that may not run outside of your PC, you can always stream them from that PC to your Steam Deck. So I'm going to get this out of the way first. Yes, GeForce Now, Amazon Luna, Google Stadia, and xCloud all work on Linux. They all work via using your web browser. So there's no need to wait for ports or wait for updates or waiting for dependencies to be fixed, etc, etc. You know, the sort of issues you would have with regular Linux programs. The main caveat is that most of these streaming services are best used with some sort of Chromium browser. You know, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, etc, etc. The Steam OS default browser, it's a complicated situation. So Steam OS has, I guess, two built-in browsers. So the Steam UI is a built-in Chromium-based browser, not Chrome. If you were to go over to the desktop environment, you'll find that Firefox is the default browser there. If you don't like Firefox, you can also just download Google Chrome in the desktop environment and use it that way. That said, your best chances are to just use the built-in web browser, the SteamOS one. The Steam UI browser even has a feature where you can pin websites to the front of the Steam page as if it was like a game. So that would be where you would put all of your shortcuts for Stadia, Amazon Luna, GeForce Now, and xCloud. So I know you guys want to get to PC streaming, but there's another interesting thing that we can talk about. Streaming from consoles to your Steam Deck. On the Xbox side of things, there's truly no easy way to do this. Basically, your options are use xCloud or use Windows. I believe there are solutions that work for the Xbox One generation of consoles, though nothing for the Series S or Series X currently. On the Sony side of things, there is a free and open source client for PS4 and PS5 remote play. So the program is called Chiaki, and it's named after a Danganronpa character. I don't have a PS4 nor a PS5 to test this on, so sadly I can't test this program out for you. But I've seen some testimonials, and it says that it works really well. On the Nintendo side of things, I mean, do you really want to stream your Nintendo Switch games to your Steam Deck? The more practical solution, if you can call it that, would be to emulate the Switch. And even then, there's no guarantee that the Steam Deck will have the power to emulate a Nintendo Switch. I hate to trample over your dreams, but like, you know, it doesn't seem likely. That said, if it does emulate Switch well, I would be pleasantly surprised. Finally, we'll get to what you all have been waiting for. Streaming from a PC to a Steam Deck. Yes, it's possible. Yes, it's relatively easy. And yes, most of the solutions are free. You own your own games library, you own your own streaming hardware, and you own the hardware that you'll stream to. There are some major considerations that you will need to take into account before you can make use of the setup. First, you'll need a gaming PC. An above average one is recommended due to the additional stress on your PC while it's streaming. This PC will also want to be connected to Ethernet for the best results. To guarantee compatibility, your best bet would be to have this gaming PC run Windows. Second, you'll want great internet, especially if you want to stream outside of your home. I personally have gigabit internet. What's most important isn't necessarily how good your internet is, but rather how good your hardware is, how stable it is. I'm not going to go through what routers you should or shouldn't get, but if you want to know what routers I'm using, I'm using a pair of ASUS XT8s. I reviewed them in a prior video, so the link to that review will be down in the description. Lastly, you'll want some kind of client device. 
you know, anything from a laptop to a Chromebook to a mobile smartphone. As long as you can plug in like a controller or a keyboard and mouse, you'll be good. So you're here because you want a remote play on your Steam Deck. Well, I would just recommend sticking with the Steam solution, the Valve made solution. So Valve's built-in solution is pretty good. You can install Steam Remote Play on basically any client device you want. Or if you have Steam installed on a client device, you can just use that instead. It also works great on AMD GPUs, which I can confirm. So there are a ton of programs you can use for the purposes of streaming, and I recommend the Steam one because it's the easiest, and it's also going to be integrated in, you know, the Steam Deck. So I would recommend just not bothering with any third-party programs as well as any third-party accounts as well. Got any non-Steam games? Well, guess what? You can add them too. On the host PC, add your non-Steam games in your Steam library and you'll be able to access them. I suppose the one major caveat has to do with Remote Play Together and its arbitrary restrictions on what games can be played with it. We'll discuss this in a separate video. So I just want to clarify that playing games natively on your Steam Deck will 100% be better than streaming. Running games via the cloud will always be a subpar experience to running the games on the hardware. For the purposes of streaming, I would not recommend super competitive games or games that require precision. That said, a personal streaming cloud of sorts is super convenient and honestly I would recommend everyone setting one up ASAP. I've got one set up and even though I definitely plan on using this less once the Steam Deck comes out, once my Steam Deck gets outdated, I might have to start relying on it more, which is a good thing. Your Steam Deck will have a longer lifespan. You won't be tempted to throw it out or just let it collect dust. Yeah, sure, it may be more of a stream deck, <laughs> but you know, it may stave off the wait for a Steam Deck too, right? <laughs>